Hello, everybody. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that to load up. Anyways, uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. So we are going to do our next tutorial on how to make an RPG in Roblox. And now, first of all, um, I I actually did this tutorial like three times. The first one, it was kind of bad quality, and plus it went too fast. I had a very bad software, and I didn't even use my voice. Second one, yeah, I guess I would say it's actually pretty good, but there was, yeah. Uh, it wasn't, I don't, I don't know, it's just that, um, every time I try to do the, uh, thing, it, it, ju it just, I couldn't finish it, okay, that, that's how I did it, sorry, I stuttered a lot. Um, and anyways, now, we'll get straight to the point, we don't want to procrastinate too much, sorry if I lagged a bit. Um, so the first thing we're going to need to do is set up our game. Now, there's two ways to do this. Um, first of all, I would do assume you have studio, just search it up how to get it, if you just get it. Um, it's it's on Mac and PC, I believe. So Control N the N to make a new um project, or you can just click that. Not really project, but you can just create a new map. And now you should see something like this. Um, I'm just holding uh um right mouse and just uh and holding W and you know just moving inter moving the camera around. But yeah, we um this is the f this is a simple way to do it. Um. I will link this plugin in the description below. Just click this RPG kit installer, and it, sometimes it doesn't work. That's why I'm showing you guys the other way. Um, by the way, this requires internet, I believe. Um, and I think you need Windows Vista. I don't know why, but pretty sure that's what it is. Anyways, um, now we have to search up my RPG starter kit version 14.0, and it should be in li library. There you go, and on. Uh, this is my terrible one I made a long time ago. Oh, don't use. Uh, yeah, I made that like three years ago. This is updated one year ago, but change the description. But that's your all of it. Okay, so this is it. Um, you're gonna take this item, obviously, and now what you're gonna do is uh, hopefully I still have it in my mod. I think I still do. I'm gonna go back to studio real quick, and now I should be able to insert it on my. There you go. Bearsome. And now we have everything in here. Now I'm going to show you guys what each of these tell you, a brief description of what each of these do, and I am going to delete them if I don't need them, or I'm going to put them somewhere else. So first of all, what is a change log? Well, this, this is all the changes that they have added to the kit. Um, just for the sake of this, um, I'm just going to delete the change log because we don't really need it in this tutorial. As well as the instructions manual, because I'm gonna kind of be your instructions manual. Uh, that makes any sense. Oh, you can keep it for reference, I guess. Um, so these two scripts, just take them out. And by the way, uh, this is not my kit. I'm just just gonna put that out right now and just make a tutorial on it. Now you have these two scripts. Um, they're disabled. Uh, so yeah. And by the way, real quick, I forgot to go over something. I hope you guys didn't quit the video already. But you're gonna need to go to View Explorer. Um, you're gonna need to go to this top bar and then go to view and then go to explorer right there and click properties. Um, then you're gonna need to do toolbox outputs, um, just see your output game explorer. Um, that seems like pretty much all you'd really need. Um, and by the way, this is your plugins part. We're gonna be using some plugins, so yeah, be on the look, watch out for that. Um, So yeah, I think that this should end up pretty well. Um, object browser. Uh, no, actually, we don't need that. That should be reference. I just want to make sure I have everything here real quick. Uh, yeah, okay. So I guess that's this is all I really need. Um, okay, so basically, what I am going to do is I am going to um, I'm gonna. Uh, well, explain everything. Sorry, I, I would have had a better tutorial, but I had researched so many times due to errors in the recording. So, anyways, armors, what you're going to need to do with these is uh, go and cut these and then wait for a bit. Right click and then control X, by the way. Um, we're getting a little bit of lag. Apologize. Sometimes that happens. And then. Um, hold Control Shift V and then paste it into Replicated Storage. Or if you're a Mac user, you're probably gonna need to right-click and then do Paste Into. It's the same thing practically. 
Um, and then you're going to need to uh, cut GUIs and then put it into starter GUI. Well, actually, um, you're going to do that for now and then just put this in the starter GUI, which is there, and then ungroup. And uh, we're going to need to put these into replicated storage. Hold on. And ungroup. There we go. Now we have all of our essential GUIs, and I'm going to show you how to change them in a future tutorial. Tutorial, but real quick, um, so far your XP bar and everything will look like that. But eventually, I'm going to show you how to improve it. I'm going to make a professional looking RPG game after we're done, and I hope you guys will play it. By the way, and you guys can learn how to make it. But no, we're not doing that. Um, just drag game properties in the workspace. We'll learn a lot about this in the second and third tutorial, I believe, and then we'll learn GUI design and mob design and all stuff. Um, a uh, healing pond, or you're just gonna put into our game, so then we can move it around. This just heals you, you don't really need it. Um, level door, we're actually replacing it with my level door, so I'm just gonna search up level door, and, um, I don't know why, but I really feel like upgrading the level door a lot. Now it'll have, like, a text when you enter and stuff. It's just a lot better than the old one, and have a UI. Whatever, okay, just use my level door, because it has a lot of settings and customizable. And you don't even have to script it all, really. It's it's useful. Um so next what we have here is this is our level door. Um our mob. This is our enemy. We're gonna need to paste it into there. Quest system, let's delete that. We're probably not gonna use it, unfortunately. We might we might later, but it's just a bit glitchy. Put that put these in a replicate storage on group, that's just the dynamic text. Put these into the paste put them right there. Uh, you could actually take my shops model and you could delete this and then take my shops model. Um, shops? Yeah, there you go. Uh, the link to that will be in the description as well. Um, you don't have to, but I, I just do because I, I don't know. You can even customize them if you want, but I'm just going to keep it like that. It's just better. Um, now we have a few other things here. And we have our scripts, uh, server script service, then ungroup. So put this in your server script service, service and then ungroup them. We're going to delete this RPG script and then, um, real quick, we're going to grab, um, and search up data store RPG script. Um, that will also be in the description below. And, uh, just paste that into the server script service instead of the old one because that one has data store and data store, or whatever. And it's a lot better. It's like that. I don't know. It's just better. Um, I'm gonna put these all in Star Pack for now. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, so Data Store actually makes it a lot more reliable. You don't lose your data as much. Okay, so put the items in. I believe replicate. Okay, uh, actually just drag the items and replicate it. Okay, um, paste them into all replicated storage. Do not ungroup them, or else you'll have like a ton of crap. Yeah, a ton of crap. Um, starter pack, obviously you're going to ungroup that because, yeah, now you have your warden sword. By the way, we're going to play this game when we're done, it's not going to really be that fun. Okay, so cut, well, yeah, um, cut this script and then put it in star GUI, that's what it says. Ungroup it. Now you have all this crap, um, we cut that, and we're pretty much set up, uh, now what I'm going to do real quick is, you guys should know the basics of building, but if you don't, then to insert a part, you just do that. And this is going to be a very, very simple building tutorial. Uh, to make it bigger, you can scale it like that, and just hold it, and then drag it. Um, to move it around, you just click that, and you can hold it and drag it. Select, you can just hold it and move it anywhere. Rotate, you can hold it and then rotate it. Yeah. You can even change the scale up here, but that's a very quick tutorial. We're just going to be building walls, and let's go to the properties real quick and change this to smooth, smooth, like the black outline, that'll look cooler. And this is going to be a very just simple thing. I did Control D um, plus Control R. Control R and, uh, rotates, Control D um, duplicates, which is very useful. You'll learn that later on. But yeah, and then I'm just going to believe I did the Control R. There you go. By the way, to select multiple objects, you can control plus the object. I'm, I'm just going to do that real quick. I'm going to build like a very, very simple map. And real quick, we actually have to grab all these parts and anchor them. So you see this anchored? Select all of the parts and anchor them. 
Uh, if you haven't, if you if you just started building now, um, just anchor the part. Just select it and anchor. So just hold control and select them. By the way, um, and you're gonna want collisions on. Um, holy crap! I I hope I remember how to do that. Um, where is it? Collisions. It should be here somewhere. But, oh yeah, click that, and then you can't collide with things no more. But if you um uncheck that, then you can collide. Okay, so yeah, this is a very simple um RPG. It should work as normal. Um, you'll just have a wooden sword, and you're able to kill this goblin. It's pretty much it for now. We haven't customized anything. We haven't learned how to customize. And also, do like this new XP. I mean, uh, HP bar. Area name here. Yeah, we haven't customized that yet, but we will soon in a later tutorial. Yeah. So this this displays a GUI. Um, and it fades out. It's really cool in my opinion. I don't know about you. And yeah, so I hope you guys w did enjoy this tutorial. And in the next tutorial, I will go over um more stuff. Yeah, we're gonna need to go over the following. We're gonna go over um how to how to customize the shop. Well, not the shops. We're gonna learn how to customize the mob next. And anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And see you guys in a future tutorial.